Hey there. I hope you're having a good day. Today is day 27 of the 30 day art challenge and the challenge is to do a piece of art in black and white only. So in the pouring world that's like super easy to do. I've got my Artist Loft white and black flow acrylic in the bottles here. I've put them in a cup and I've mixed them both one-to-one -one with Oetrol Easy Flow, which is a European company. It's basically the same thing as Floetrol in America, but this is for people that don't have access to Floetrol. Easy Flow by Oetrol is super good quality and very self-leveling and smooth. I'm just, I just really love using it. Oetrol also graciously sends me product to demo for you. So on this one I decided that I wanted to do a puddle pour. And this is a, the size of the canvas I think is 18 by 24. Yes, this is a 15 inch ruler. An 18 by 24 needs at least 15 ounces of paint to cover the canvas. And so I should have plenty of paint for that. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to base coat my canvas at all. I think I'm just going to leave it dry. And I'm sorry for my very dirty table. I'm going to put clean paper on after this pour, but when you use black, it stains whatever you let it land on. This has wet paint from yesterday and I didn't want to clean it up because I knew I was going to be doing a black and white pour. So this is going to be a little bit on the messy side. So I've got my black and white. Now I'm actually I'm going to add some more. This is water mixed with Oetrol. So what you do is you put your water in a cup or bottle and you do 90% water and 10% Oetrol or if you're using Floetrol, do 10% Floetrol. That way when you add it to your paint mixture it's just a little bit more co cohesive to mix with your other mixture. I think it just does a little bit better. It mixes faster and smoother. Uh, just a little bit more. I want this nice and fluid. I've got this funky, uh, I think it used to, I think it used to have a, the paint brush bristles on one end of this stick, but I think it came off and I just kept the stick and so I thought, yeah, it'll be a good stir stick. So it's kind of a weird little thing that I'm mixing with. So that's the black. Let me just double check my white, make sure it's not gotten too thick because it's been sitting here for a little while. I'm going to add a little bit more water to this. I do not have any silicone or OGX in either one of these. I would love to do some major cells, but I decided I wanted to do one without cells or if it makes cells from the pour that's fine but I wasn't going to intentionally put stuff in there. So I'm going to just pour in puddles and I'm going to be quiet and just let you watch and then we're going to see what happens. My black and white inspired painting.
so I like it pretty well. These black solid areas here bother me just a bit. It did pull up some cells, which I like. I'm curious. I just add a little gray mixture from the table. Take my screen netting. Dripped. So I dripped across it, which kind of ruined the look. So I'm going to tilt this way and try to get that to go off the canvas. Of course, it's not wanting to move, so I'll just come back this way. Also, I'm curious, this is 90% alcohol and I never use it. I'm going to try it over here in the corner. So that brought up little dots and I don't mind that. So we're going to go for the dotted look. How about that? That gives it some texture. And then right here, it's funny and that makes it bleed out a little bit. I have Rain-X. I'm dropping it in the black here. Just curious if it'll do anything. It didn't really. So I don't like the way it made the white bleed out here on the edges with the alcohol. I probably went a little too much overboard, but there's some cool things going on. Like down here, there's a little flower bud. So I want to do I'm going to take my scraper here. Scrape up some paint. Go straight through that. Just to break up that one little spot there. Uh, I got some purple in there. I can't use that. Yeah, I want to be totally true to the black and white. So here's some along the edge. Just kind of drag that a bit. Maybe I want to drop a little white. right down through here.
kind of liking this. So, dots and drops. Kind of looks spacey. Kind of cool. I like it. That Rain-X smells funky. So I think I'm done. But what I'm going to do is bring the camera down to you. Instead of lifting it up, I don't want to tilt and move or mess up the circles or the funkiness. I love the little flower shape going on here. I wonder if that would happen. I just put a drop of alcohol, just let it spread. Let me see what happens there. You really kind of don't know. The heat gun doesn't do anything to it. I'll make my own little flowers. Do a little twirl here and there. Okay. I'm finished. So here it is down at my level. There's where the bleeding out. I didn't like that look. But I like the other little tiny dots from the alcohol. It made a bunch of little cells, that kind of thing. But like here, it's a really cool, cool effect. I don't know how that happened. And then you got my, my dots that I dripped everywhere. And then there's some cells that just kind of popped up, maybe from the uh, alcohol. And a little splash or two that I made. So, overall, I like it. That's my black and white challenge for day 27. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check out the links below my video where it says show more on your computer or on your mobile device. It's a down arrow. And there is the Facebook link and Patreon, PayPal, Instagram, my website, all kinds of stuff. Check it out. Make sure to follow me everywhere. And I appreciate you coming back and watching over and over again. I appreciate your support. I will see you next time. Have a good day.